teacher ratio is about nine to one. And that means the faculty members know students extremely well, and students know faculty very well. How many 11s do we have? The faculty are very involved in curriculum design, and what they do is ask the kinds of questions yeah. as to what sort of an environment and what kind of curriculum will challenge bright students. So we like that. Next word, next word, guess. Outcast, it's kind of like somebody that's been um, thrown out of something. Well, it's kind of a synonym to exile. If somebody was an outcast of the yeah. United States, they were exiled out. When did Coca-Cola, like, start? It was developed in 1886 by John Pemberton, and Frank Robinson developed the name of Coca-Cola. Economics. We're buying apartments and we're splitting them money. So once you write your check, you need to go to the top of your check register, write down the amount of your check, and, and subtract Why it from your balance. Why would choose to make the sonnet the form of their first lines together? One reason why he would choose this is because, like Sean or Eliza said, sonnets are about law. But in Shakespeare, that would have been completely unheard of because the whole idea of tragedy is that you move from order to disorder to restoration of order. Because everything was with Macbeth was a knife. And second of all, like the crown was like right in the movie, but you don't see any of it in the actual book. Though. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see that in the book, but I saw it up there. You're going to have to figure out how you can extend it through a whole poem. The circus paints a distorted view of the picture of wildlife and greatly negates the spectacular intelligence of these mammals. Stay, stay. Uh, uh, my brother really didn't want to take Latin, but my parents made him, and I think it's really paid off for him, so I'm going to take Latin. It really does help build connections to words in our language today. Yeah. It helps us with test scores. Casper, Tom Frere, Alba, Ina. Okay, Tom Frere, Ria, Sophie. Ria, Teachers, they're, they're committed to everything they do and in you. You can see that by you know, the, the length of time that they've you know, committed their time to Canterbury. And you're going to hold it at two inches in the middle and drop. We're seeing um, how many, uh, what the size of the depression was to see how deep it went on there. And this one right here was about one, th one eighth of an inch. We're trying to make a roller coaster. Yeah. And this is our model. Don't force it just to make different tilts. It takes an object like a marble, going all the way through the track, doing several different things, coming all the way back to the beginning all from the original force created by the initial hill. All right. Did it work? Yeah. yeah. They're going to accelerate at the same rate. How can I find the acceleration? Just do it on one block. You apply F equals a mate to one block or the other. They're both really simple, but which one's the simplest? You will find on page 666, table 23.2, the genetic code. So what I want you to be able to do is I want you to be able to look at a codon or an anti-codon and do two things. I've got right here, which is called the what? Cornea. I have the cornea, okay? And there's going to be a liquid come out. Well, the liquid is going to be aqueous humor. What does aqua mean? Water. So it's going to be a water that comes out. So I want you to watch real carefully so you can see the water. Everybody see the water? Okay, ready? Remember, osmosis is a passive mechanism. Now, if the water, if the soil is naturally hypotonic... This completes the current. Yeah, oh yeah. And and so the electricity flows this like this one. This My science teacher, he didn't just have us like read out of the book and take tests after test after test. He worked into um, a series of labs that we could complete to help us understand more, and class discussions were great. We're preparing children for life, knowing that the next step for them in that process after Canterbury is going to be college. Next people we think about Canterbury, they'll talk about high test scores, academic achievements, the colleges people go to. They'll be talking with college counselors starting in their sophomore year. Families will start to meet in their junior year and meet with a college counselor and go through the kinds of schools that students might be interested in. And then the entire junior class will go on a week-long college trip and they'll go to visit a selection of colleges and see whether they want an urban environment or a rural environment, a single sex or co-ed, maybe a school with a religious affiliation. That really helped me at least because when we visited Princeton on that trip, I really just fell in love with the school and I decided I want to go there. We've got a person right here going to Princeton. I wanted to go to Princeton. <laughs> I still have a chance to go yet because I had of a, Canterbury. I had a friend who had a choice between uh, Princeton, Yale, and Northwestern. I mean, what an awesome, you know, decision to make, you know, which one you want to go to. 
At the same time, we think it's important that our students are going to be doing things that, that they do them well. We have a very uh, strong athletic program in selective sports, which means that we were given great coaches, great facilities, and a very competitive schedule. We take the sports program very seriously. 80 to 85 percent of our student body at the high school participates on a team through the course of each school year. We offer 15 of the 20 sports that the IHSA sanctions. There are many activities in which you'll find students here after the school day, whether it's student newspaper or a drama program or a speech competition on the weekends. So where do you want this play to be? Do you want it to be here? Or do you want it to be all the way here when people are going to say, wow! Here's your introduction. I am a promise. I belong to cross my face. I am supposed to be a swimming pool resort. K-I-D-S Kids, the music are one. Participation is just a really large part of Canterbury. You can participate in just about anything you want to. Uh, you know, in plays, you know, you don't, you don't go out and just say, yeah, I'm going to be in the chorus or whatever. You can really get a large role, you know. You can be, you know, the star. My optimism comes when I look at this class today and at the faces out there. These teachers, these friends, and most importantly, these parents have made us what we are today. The teachers were for knowledge and mentorship. The friends were for lessons of character. And the parents have been the undying support all the way through. They have planted our feet firmly on the ground, while at the same time giving us wings to fly. stop and enjoy the beauty of life, but to hold on to what we will always have. Don't ever forget it. Our hands are writing the chapters of our life, and every moment becomes a part of us forever. With the future in our hands and a solid past at our back, that is how we will leave each other today. Maybe we will meet again, for this road of life is bound to meet up again somewhere. And when it does, may we all still be proud and smiling.